Hello everyone. Thank you Heavenly Father for allowing us to see another day. Welcome back my beloved kings and queens. My name is Joyce McTeer and um, I am going to be your host for another Crafty Vision segment. So today y'all I'm going to show you how to make and create a dangle drop seashell star earring and we're gonna be using the components from the Bargain Bead Box for the month of July. So let's go ahead and get right on into this. I'm going, you're gonna have a pretty much a lot of detail alerts uh, that I am going to be announcing. Every time it's a detail, I'm gonna say detail alert to let you all know that you have to hunt for the details so that your earring can come out pretty much the same way that I'm creating it, all right? So let's go ahead and go over what you're gonna need. You're gonna need some <clears throat> round nose pliers, wire cutters. I am using some artistic wire, and this is the 10 copper, and I'm using, you're gonna need three pieces of 20 gauge 10 copper, and each piece is five inches long, all right? So you're gonna need six all together, um, to make these earrings, three per earring, okay? You're gonna need two fish hooks, one per earring. You're gonna need two of these chain links, which is four inches long, all right? And uh, you're gonna need two of these, four inches long. And everything that I'm showing you is in the bargain bead box for the month of July. You are also going to need some fresh water seashells, sea beads, okay? Fresh water sea beads. You're gonna need a total of eight, four per earring. You're going to also need some polished seashell round beads, two of these, one per earring. You're gonna need four of these starfish. Are these starfish? Yeah, you're going to need four of these, two per earring, okay? And then the last thing you're going to need is these uh, seashell, let me hold up, y'all, fresh, the synthetic, I'm sorry. These are synthetic coral scallop beads. So you're going to need four of these, two per earring. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. You need your ruler, of course, to measure all your measurements out. And I've already taken the liberty to do that. So the very first thing that we're going to do, and I also want you all to know that this is pretty much, this is a beginner's friendly. This earring is so quick to make. Um, but when you see the end results, you're just going to fall in love and make as many as possible. So... The first, very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start down with at the ends of my chain. Okay, start down at both ends, and I'm going to just make a loop, just like this, on my wire. Okay, I'm going to give it some indentation, just like that, and I'm going to pinch it, move, bring it up just a little bit. You want to put just a little, uh, 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 this is a detail alert, a little gap in between, all right? Then you're going to come down to the end, another detail alert of your chain and slide it in at the very end of your chain, okay? I'm going to take it and bring it over, put my pliers over top, pinch this up, and wrap it. Now, this part you can do as many times as you see fit. Most of the time, I wrap it about two to three times, okay? Once you do that, 
This is another detail alert. You're gonna take your wire cutters, come here, and you're just gonna snip that off. Okay, then you're gonna take your pliers, and I'm using three and one pliers. That means that I got my round nose here, and then I have my flat, and then these are cutters, okay? And then I'm just going to squeeze this in, just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start adding on my, my beads. So I'm gonna take my seashell, and this is another detail alert. And when I place my seashell on, it's gonna have, you're gonna have a head part right here, and this is gonna be the bottom part. So I'm gonna add this, I'm gonna put it on at the bottom. Okay, slide it down. I'm gonna add two of my shells. Okay, these are the freshwater seashells. I'm gonna add two of these. And then I'm going to add my coral scallop bead down at the bottom. All right, so this is what you are going to have. This is what it's going to look like. Now, what I'm going to do next is I am, you could do the, You could do one or two things. You could uh, make a loop down the bottom, but I don't want to make any loops because I'm not going to be adding any more beads. I'm just going to bend my wire over like this and wrap it around the very last bead down here just like this all right come over and when i get here i'm just going to snip it all right just like that and then you can take your pliers and pretty much hide that other piece right up in there okay and this is what you're going to have all right so that's going to be on that end now i'm going to do the same thing on the opposite end of my wire come here and make a loop give it some indentation bring it up just a tad bit and i'm going to come down on this side slide it through just like that flip it place my pliers over top okay wrap it two most of the time i do this three times y'all okay three times all right, and I'm gonna take and snip it right there. Okay, take my pliers, squeeze it in, and then just start adding on my beads again. So this is going to go down the bottom. Bring that down. We're gonna add on these other two freshwater pearl or freshwater shell beads. And then I'm gonna add on my very last coral scallop bead. All right, then I'm going to pinch this over like this. All right, and then just wrap it around just like this until you get to the other side. When you get to the other side, you just snip this part off where you have it wrapped. And then you can take and just go in and squeeze that down in between that crease. And this is what you're gonna have. So basically, <clears throat> excuse me, this is what your earring is looking like. All right, so the very last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add on, I only needed one. I'm gonna add on our polish seashell round bead. <clears throat> so I'm gonna take and make another loop, just like this. Give it some indentation. And now what you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna to have to count down 18 of your chain. So you're gonna count down 18, all right? So, we're gonna start down here and we're gonna count out 18. This is another detail alert. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So when you get to number 18, you're going to take and place this right through there. Okay, and it's going to fall right down in there, okay? And then you're going to take your round nose pliers and wrap this about three times. All right. And there you have it. Snip this off. Okay. And then we're going to squeeze this in together. And then you're going to add on your very last bead. All right. And this is what you are going to have. These are cute. So I'm going to pinch this over like that. And I'm going to make a loop. Okay. See, that's my loop. And then I'm going to just take my wire around, bring it all the way to the front. All right. And then I'm going to snip it right here. Boom. All right. And then I'm going to take my pliers and just squeeze that in just like that. And then I'm going to add on my fish hook. All right, okay, and as you can see, the reason why I counted down to uh, 18 was because it, it, see how it drops? And let me show you. That's how it's gonna drop, okay? You want it to be a little, you want one side to be longer than the other side. But these are cute. They're different. Nobody else is going to have them. And everybody don't like long dangle earrings, but these, y'all, these are cute. So with that being said, I want to take this time to say thank you so very much for joining me. For this here video i greatly appreciate each and every one of you all could you please make sure you thumbs up this video so that this video can go into rotation thank you to my new supporters and my loyal supporters i greatly appreciate each and every one of you all and until my next upload everyone peace and blessings see ya